Well, as we continue our celebration of International Women's Month, our next guest grew from refugee to a role model in the ring, writing history from inside and outside the boxing arena. Representing her homeland of Somalia at the Olympics, Ramla Ali is the first female boxer to compete in Saudi Arabia. Imagine that. She remains undefeated in the professional ranks, and her never-quit attitude in all aspects of her life has made her the epitome of hard work and dedication across the world. And Ramla is just as active outside the ring as she is inside. She runs a nonprofit called Sister Club, dedicated to giving boxing lessons to women who don't have access to the sport. Her passion and commitment to others has not only helped women like herself to flourish, but she is so committed to destigmatizing what it means to be a refugee. Joining us now, a new inductee to Time Magazine's Women of the Year list, Ramla Ali, a true knockout both inside and outside the ring. Now, I love this. She's also a model, yeah. okay? She's been all over the world, beautiful pictures, but she wants to talk about boxing, which I really admire. She's very humble. Uh, Ramla, so good to see you. Uh, talk about what this means to you to be one of Time Magazine's most respected women? Uh, uh, what an honor to be, you know, uh, mentioned amongst such greats like Angela Bassett and Kate, Kate Blanchett, which I'll totally fangirl tomorrow at the uh, award <laughs> at, the, at the dinner. I have no shame. I will. I will fangirl. Um, but yeah, no, it's an incredible honor. I remember being. Um, uh, nominated by Time a few years ago about future leaders, and I didn't think it would like result to being, uh, you know, nominated as one of the uh, women of the year. So it's, yeah, it's it's incredible. It's honestly very humbling as well. And it's for so much of of your work. And I want to focus on the nonprofit that you found, the Sisters Club, back in in 2018. That. Well, tell me, what do you think boxing does for women and why this nonprofit, uh, why you why you founded this? I think uh, I initially decided to set up um, Sisters Club. It began as an initiative uh, to sort of help uh, underprivileged and uh, women who found it really hard to gain access to sports. So, you know, the, the ethnic minorities, religious minorities. And then over time, we found a lot of women who had been suffering from domestic violence and abuse gravitating towards the class as well, which was incredible. And then, you know, as the class was developing, more and more women, you know, were coming up to me saying how safe they felt to walk alone uh, at night. And that was, you know, why I began uh, teaching uh, and volunteering my time uh, to teach these women how, how to um, box was to get feedback like that. So to hear that, you know, I just, I knew I was doing my job right. And, um, you know, it's grown so much over the years. We've opened four different locations now in London. Um, we have, uh, We've opened a, a, a location in Los Angeles as well, and we're going to open one soon in New York uh, because I feel like these underrepresented groups are not only in London, they're all over the world, and if we can sort of target them, then that's just, yeah, incredible. It is pretty incredible. And you actually grew up keeping your love of boxing a secret from your family. You You didn't tell them was that for cultural reasons uh, please tell us and and then how are you taking your personal story just to change the conversation for the next generation of young women I think for me uh, keeping it in secret wasn't wasn't really cultural it was more you know we I came to the UK as a, as a war refugee because my brother was killed in the war and I knew you know boxing is a really dangerous sport a lot of people lose their lives in the ring um, but I, I hid it from my family because I knew they wouldn't approve. They had taken me from danger and I was essentially putting myself back into danger. Um, but now, you know, they're my biggest fans. They come and watch me uh, compete. You know, they're the first to call me if I win, if I lose. And it's, it's, it's great having that family support, which I never had when I was, you know, growing up and learning how to box. And I've realized how important it really is uh, to have that that network around you um, and, and you know it's important to leave a legacy behind for the next generation 
to show young girls who come from a similar background to, to where I've come from to show them that you can dream big and you can, you know, you can literally do anything you put your mind to and you can That's be great. whatever you want to be. It's great. And, and Ramla, we have just a, a little bit of time, but I have to ask you, what's the one thing you think boxing has given you more than anything else? What's your best punch? <laughs> I think the, the, the best thing that boxing has ever given me is discipline, is knowing, um, you know, when to, like, it's okay to sometimes say no to certain things uh, because of that discipline that was instilled in me from a, learning to box from a young age. And I'm forever grateful for that because I've become, as a result of that discipline, I've become more and more determined to, 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 to be where I want to be. I remember telling myself, I'm going to go to the Olympics, and I stopped at nothing to do that. Now I keep telling myself, you know, I'm going to be a world champion. And, it, you know, some people might think, oh, it's a bit delusional, but, you know, delusion is good, <laughs> and it, it sort of takes you where, you where you should be in the future. Amen to that. Well, open up a ring here, please, because I would like to put my kids in your program tomorrow. <laughs> Ramla, congratulations. Yes. Oh, we are going to be... <laughs> okay, okay, good. <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.